Hello everyone, welcome back to JD Science Prep. Today we have a short video relating to ray or drawing a ray diagram for a converging lens where the object is in front of our secondary focal length. So I do have the rules that we're going to follow written down here, but I explained them in um, in more depth in a previous video when I go over both converging and diverging ray diagrams. We will refer back to them today, but if you do need a little bit more of a review on these rules, please watch that video. So, um, in a previous video that I was mentioning before, I talked about ray diagrams for both converging and diverging lenses, but I did not discuss a ray diagram when our object here is in front of our secondary focal length for a converging lens. Okay, um, This is a little bit of a trickier ray diagram, but today this video is meant to show you how to complete these problems. So I'll erase my arrows here and we will get started. Okay, so um, we will first look at rule number one here. It says that ray number one will begin parallel to the principal axis and refract through F once it hits the lens. So I'll bring up my ruler here and let's follow that rule to a T. So we have the top of our object and we are going to draw a ray parallel to the principal axis. And as soon as it hits that lens, it's going to refract right through our primary focal point. So remember, our primary focal point is always on the opposite side of the object um, for a converging lens. So that looks really good right there. But this is where things differ just a little bit here, folks. For these uh, ray diagrams where our object is in front of our secondary focal point, we have to backtrack. Okay, and you'll figure out why uh, once we follow rules two and three, but we will backtrack here and make that dotted line on the same side of our object. Okay, so notice our dotted line and our ray follow the exact same path, so make sure you are following the same path when you backtrack. Okay, and by backtrack, I just mean this dotted line right here. Okay, so rule number two. Let's scroll up here. I'm just gonna put away my ruler for a second so it doesn't get in the way. Rule two says ray number two will go through the secondary focal point or travel along that path if the lens is diverging and refract parallel once it hits the lens. So let's go back, let's follow rule two. This is definitely the rule where students um, mix up, I guess, the most. So because we're in front of our secondary focal length, we can still line the top of our object up with the secondary focal length, but we just have to go straight to the lens. And as soon as it hits the lens, you probably guessed it, we're gonna refract parallel to the principal axis. So it should be looking something like this. And remember what I said earlier for Examples where the object is in front of our secondary focal length, we have to backtrack, okay? So we will backtrack with those dotted lines once again. So it should look something like that. So we have two rules complete now and you might be able to figure out where our image is going to be based on our dotted lines, but let's make sure here with rule number three at the very top there, it says ray number three will travel through the optical center and continue along the same path. So remember the optical center is just right in the middle of our lens here. We're gonna line the top of our object up with that optical center and we should get a pretty good idea of where our image is going to be. Let me just make sure it's right on the money here, right about there. So it's gonna go through the optical center. And again, we're gonna make those dotted lines here. 
perfect. So it should look something like that here, folks. And I'm just going to put away my ruler for a second, make sure all my rays have directional arrows. And I'll bring my ruler out one last final time to draw my image because, as you guys can probably see, we have an intersection of all three right there. So we can draw our image from the principal axis to that intersection and draw our arrow right there. Put away my ruler, make this a little bit neater, and we can write out some characteristics. So first off, because our image is on the same side of the lens as our object, this is a virtual image. It's definitely larger, definitely larger. Um, we can say that it's upright. You can say that it is upright and finally for location we can just say that it is between our secondary focal and the lens so and the lens so that is a quick review of how to draw a ray diagram for a converging lens when the object is in front of our secondary focal i hope this video has helped